Hey Cancers, welcome to your general reading here in December. This is a general and won't resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. I'd like to give a shout out to um, one of my subscribers who is a Cancerian and um, gave me a donation. Thank you very much, you know who you are. Um, I don't want to... Um, say her name in case she doesn't want me to but um, thank you for the support um, within the comments the likes the shares it really means a lot to me you guys so thank you um, yeah so I seen one turnover did you guys let's see where it's gone to there it is so this is a general reading for December okay guys first card out wonderful ten of cups you know um I'm feeling like very cozy at home here um you know a new relationship here even building like with two people or um becoming comfortable with somebody okay so let me finish my spiel <laughs> Yeah, this is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody, unfortunately, but I do personal readings. Um, information about all the decks of cards I use in the videos will be in the description box as always. So go ahead and check that out, okay, guys? If you are new, welcome. Please subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell. So starting off um, December with the Ten of Cups. A feeling of contentment, maybe even... Um, an attraction to another water sign here because I'm feeling with this Ten of Cups, um, you know, somebody you could actually make a home with or something here. Very comfortable with each other. So maybe another water sign. Let's see, shall we? Ooh, there you go. An offer being made from a soulmate. You two feeling exactly the same about each other very comfortable with each other seems i feel very warm and cozy and love loving towards each other here this could be a new soulmate coming in for you guys or if you're in a relationship it's like getting that connection back there okay so it's like a new soul again water so could be another water sign all the signs generally do come out but I know people like to know what signs they are. So, soulmate connection. Being comfortable with somebody. Ooh, yeah, page of wands, new beginning, right? Could be with somebody younger. But it seems like something's about to start. Something exciting and wonderful. But also very warm and cozy where, you know, the feeling's mutual here. It's like somebody, a conversation beginning that gets you guys back on track or something. Or a new offer coming in, a new beginning here, maybe from a younger sign there. Could be a younger fire sign as well as it is the page of wands. But it's like a spark, a connection starting up here. Ooh, queen of wands as well. So yeah, definitely for some of you, a fire sign, maybe a Leo. Um, but there's also, you know, Aries and Sagittarius. Um, this person may have been through a few things as well. Um, as I'm focused there on her tears. Um, could be a same-sex relationship with somebody younger. It doesn't really matter um, what sex the cards are. It's just an indication for some, a fire sign or a creative or a person you are finding very attractive, okay? Somebody motivated to make this connection happen here. So they're coming forward with communication and willingness, wanting to talk to you wanting to get their message across to you that they like you here and i feel like the feelings mutual so somebody will take action to let you know how they feel here it's wonderful if you're not in a relationship it's about to start up five of uh pentacles here you know feeling if it's somebody um from your past it's they are feeling the lack, the cold without you now. And this is why I was feeling the warmth up here. This is what they want back, that homeliness here. Most of you, this is going to be a brand new person coming in 
bringing you in out of the cold, okay? This is the silver lining. The Five of Pentacles in this deck is about the silver lining, okay? Because this is the um, mythical tarot deck. So this guy is about the silver lining, bringing you in out of the cold here. Wonderful. Three of Pentacles, yep, working together, partnership coming together here. Three of Pentacles, it, as you can see, always more than one person in the card. So it's about um, either a group of people coming together um, or two people coming together to work on something, work something out here. It could be if you're working, uh, you could start a new creative job that helps a finance situation, but be careful with your spending during um, December, but it shows here, you know, you're working very hard towards something great here, okay? So it will turn around your finances if it's a new creative job. I feel like maybe it could have something to do with eyelashes or makeup there, but anything really. There is lots of people watching the reading, so yeah, it's like a coming together, a connection coming together, meeting somebody new. And wanting to be together, wanting it to work out. King of Swords, they're coming in really fast here, okay? And again, this is about fairness, about communication and clarity. So they're going to come in pretty quickly now and make it clear um, that they want to work things out with you. They want to clear things up or, you know, they want to take this to the next step very forward. They want to be, this is a kind person, okay? Um, they may be tough on the outside, but very kind within. They want fairness and things like that. They may have like um, Libra, Libra rising, something like that, because they want things to be balanced and fair within the home life here, okay? Let's see. They want to do their share of the work, not just leave it all up to you and, you know, let you struggle. They want to make sure you're taken care of and, you know, warm and, you know, you've got the heat on or something. <laughs> they want to know that information about you for some reason. Two of Pentacles. Um, you may be scared to go forward into this new relationship. Maybe it's a past relationship um, <clears throat> with the Ten of Cups. Tens are about ending. So it could have been that, you know, you went through... Um, an emotional relationship, very stable, very family orientated with a previous soulmate and, you know, leaving you out in the cold, having to pick yourself up here, um, may have you questioning, you know, should I take action towards another person? Should I accept their offer? Um, and it is yes, okay? Don't stay stuck because of the past here, okay? And again, an indication of a job offer coming in. So if money's a bit tight, you know, that's coming. There's something coming where you sign a new contract, maybe even a new house or doing repairs on a house. Could have your money tight, so be careful how you spend and what sort of contracts you're signing. Um, but that sort of thing's coming in, a decision to be made. And if it is a new love, like I say, don't let the past hold you back. This person wants to be very fair towards you, okay? They may seem like, you know, they're hyper or very passionate, but they're very caring and nurturing inside here, okay? Just maybe showing you this exciting part and you're like, well, it's not actually what I want to go back into. I've done that before. It's not the same sort of thing. This person wants to take care of you. Wants to be like a unit or a family or something. Wants to be cosy with you. There you go. Could be another Cancerian. But here, you know, take a new approach to love. A new understanding to love. This will be um, a successful love. You know, if you take the chance here, it's like you need to take the opportunity. The leap of faith here. Once they reach out, take the leap of faith. And you will be successful here, okay? It will move forward very nicely. Jump into the chariot. Take a chance, okay? And follow your destiny here. 
Yes, with the King of Swords, you, you know, you may have learned something by being left out in the cold, but you're building yourself back up bigger and stronger than ever before. Don't stay stuck. It's time to move forward now with the chariot. You could be trying to purchase a new car here or even travel. Um, be wise about this. Maybe get some financial advice from uh, a king of swords, somebody else who maybe knows more about it than you. Eight of wands and look at that. You're flying. Then you're off. Nothing's going to hold you back after this. Any future bumps in the road, you're going to fly right over with ease there. This is Pegasus. Can you see the eight ones there on the floor? But Pegasus can fly. You've learned to fly. You know, so, you know, this stability ending, this feeling left out in the cold, having to rework yourself into who you are now. Um, very gorgeous, very attractive, excited for um, a soulmate here. Um, has made you stronger has made you fly here okay so there's definite forward movement coming um communication excitement if you allow it we can we do have free will so we can hold ourselves back okay that's that two of pentacles we can remain stuck um if we don't put in the work because when we're left out in the cold or we have a desire for a soulmate new or old doesn't matter um, if we don't put the work behind it, we remain stuck and stagnant. And you can end up feeling like that during December if you don't take the leap of faith and go ahead and try a new approach. Look, wonderful. Birthing a new age. Birthing new creations, dreaming of a new world into being. That's exactly what I was talking about. Once you have the desire... You follow through with action. That's the law of attraction, okay? That's what's coming for you guys. This beautiful new beginning. Like I said, whether you know this soulmate or not, it's going to be a whole new exciting, warm, new growth beginning here. Good luck, guys.